So find the function rule for the given function, or basically they're going to give you a graph. And remember, this function rule is just another name for an equation. So first thing I would do is I would look for some good um, dots on this line. And so you could take your pencil and put them in pretty easily. The second thing is, is think about the format that your equation is going to be this function rule. Y equals mx plus b. Well, the plus b stands for the y-intercept. And we'll give it a new nickname with this function chapter pretty soon, but we'll just call it the y-intercept because that's old material. And it's wherever this blue line crosses the y-axis. And I know this is hitting at positive 4. So I'm going to write plus 4 underneath it. Now, the y equals x would come straight down, and the last thing I need to find is the slope. And we're going to give that a new nickname for this chapter, but for right now, that's slope. Um, all you have to do is find two dots that you feel comfortable with and get from one dot to the other. So I like, I like this dot right here. So we're going to go up one and to the right three. And remember, uh, your, your rise number, your up or down number goes on top, and the left right number goes on bottom. So it's going to be 1 over 3, and it should be a, a positive 1 over positive 3. So y equals 1 third x plus 4. Over here, we've got a different line here, so go ahead and put in the dots so that we can clearly see them. And take a look at this equation. You want to go find your y-intercept. So there it is. This time it's in the negative region. So this plus b is going to be replaced by negative 3. The yx should drop down. And now we just have to go find our slope. And I like moving from this dot to this dot. So it would be um, up 4 and then once to the left. And so since it's up 4, that's a positive 4. But since I'm moving to the left, it's going to be a negative 1 on the bottom. And look at this. Um, if, if you can, you go ahead and you make it into a whole number. 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. And we're done. Um, y equals negative 4x minus 3.